join kids hat family tia would you mind if i ask you a question no tofu i wouldn't mind you asking me a question tell me what is it it's my first day out with all my friends have you ever been on a day out before or is this the first time for you too oh yes tofu I have been to quite a few day outs like these with friends from my previous locality. We used to have so much fun together. And you know what? We used to discuss ghosts also. This sounds so exciting, Tia. I would love to hear your ghost stories. All right then, let me tell you one of the ghost story that my friend Tanya shared with us. The Moonlit Road Once upon a time in one of the residential areas of Blakesley Arkansas there existed a haunted house On some days people walking by this house could smell a strong pleasant aroma of freshly baked bread Pleasant smell Tia did you mean to say a pungent smell No tofu, you heard it right. The aroma used to be mouth-watering. All residents used to talk about it very often and analyzed that the place would have been a bakery. But that's not all. On other days, they could also hear voices of a group of people laughing and partying. The residents often used to joke about it. Ah, I wish I was invited to their party. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. A bakery. I am hungry already. Even I had a craving when I heard about it for the first time. Although there were no cases of ghosts harming anyone, yet people preferred to be at a distance. After all, there were ghosts there. No one ever stepped on the front porch of the house. except on one fine day when a man moved into the town gazed at this house and immediately bought this property since he didn't ask anyone about its history he directly moved into the house with his family strange things started happening during the night like the weird noises the baking aroma from the cold kitchen party music and what not tofu Oh my god. What happened next, dear? The family was frightened. The man's wife told him that they can no longer live there. They had to move out. The man was so exasperated that he went straight to the mayor who had sold off this property to him. I am eager to know how the mayor responded. He should have told him about it earlier, right? Yes, Tofu. That's exactly what he asked the mayor. Why didn't you tell me that the house is haunted? How can anyone live there? I want my money back. I never lied to you. Just because the house is haunted doesn't mean you can't live there. Be friendly with the ghosts. That's the only way. It's been more than 3 decades since we've lived here. and the spirits had never harmed any of us they are ghosts it's obvious for them to do odd things but believe me they won't hurt you the man looked convinced he called his best friend and shared everything that happened with him in the last few days his best friend agreed to visit him and look for a solution to his problem i like his best friend A friend in need is a friend indeed. Yes, my dear. Just when the two entered the house, they could smell the baking aroma. Oh, now it was time for his best friend to witness it himself. Yes, Tofu. What is this smell? Has your wife baked something for us? I wish. We have shifted to another rented house for a while. I can hear some music playing from that side. What is this happening? It's a ghost's party. Would you like to join them? I won't mind. Let's unfold this secret today. 
The two went inside and looked around the empty house. They sat down on the dining table, poured two glasses of drinks and tried inspecting the area. Are you in touch with Maya, our classmate from school? No, I last saw her in school. Never got in touch ever after we cleared our board exams. The two friends went on talking and having fun together for more than 3 hours without realizing that they were supposed to inspect the house. Meanwhile, the man's wife started panicking as it had been a long time that she didn't hear from her husband. Man's wife called up his best friend's wife and they both decided to look for their husbands at the haunted house together. The two ladies reached the house and peeked from a window to look inside. To their amazement, they saw their husbands chilling at the dining table. Everything seemed fine, so the wives decided to go in and join their husbands. Gradually, the party turned massive as the neighbors started joining them. They came along with their guitars and other musical instruments. The two ladies cooked delicious food for everyone. People had a great time. The house was lively again. From this day, the weird noises, the baking aroma, everything vanished. There were no more such incidents. The man shifted back to the house with his family as it wasn't haunted anymore and they often organized parties at their place. All residents lived happily ever after. This was such an adorable tale, Tia. This story taught me two things. First, how can we change our mysteries into an opportunity with a positive mindset? And second, ghosts are not always scary, huh? Yes, my dear Tofu. I am happy you liked the story. Let's join our friends back now. They all must be waiting for us. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.